My 34F husband, 41 meters, of 11 years is grieving and his actions are making me unhappy. My 34F husband, 41 meters, have been married almost 12 years. He lost his best friend of 30 years John, not his real name, earlier this year and has been deeply grieving. He has been there for his friend's widow Sarah, not her real name as he promised his best friend he would make sure she is taken care of if anything ever happened. They both made this promise to each other. Almost one month after losing John was our wedding anniversary. Sarah asked husband to come to her house because they had their one-year new home walk through coming up. Husband went to help for for a few hours on our anniversary instead of asking her to wait one day and doing it the day after. We also never did anything special to celebrate our anniversary later on the weekend. Then we had been driving and he was talking about John and unprompted let me know that if I had ever asked him to choose between me and John he would have divorced me. It's been about 10 months since the passing. When husband talks to Sarah he is still deeply affected. Shortly after he would call her and his mood would change but he wouldn't tell me they had talked. I told him I was uncomfortable that he was talking to her and letting it affect him like that and not telling me. He is still affected but will tell me within a day or so that they talked. But he still talks to her about missing John more so than he does me. He has only seen her a couple of times since John's passing without me but I don't think there's anything untoward during those times taking place. I can understand his desire to make sure she is cared for and I even understand that he may want to share moments of missing John with her but what I am having trouble accepting is feeling like I as his wife am in second place to another woman. I never would ask him to choose because I don't think ultimatums are fair but I also never needed to be told I was never the most important person in his life. Ever since hearing that he would have left me I haven't been able to let myself talk to him about feeling insecure that he's so emotionally trauma bonded to another woman. Especially a woman he has made me question if she is more important than I am Bekwase of the promise he made to his best friend. Is this just his grief? Should I just be more accepting of what he is doing? Do I have any right to be upset at how he has made me feel? Is there a way I can talk to him about this without being accusatory? He has already made it clear he is unwilling to go to therapy over his grief. Eep, girl, there's a big red button on the wall marked, therapy, and you need to punch that button now. You can't give him an ultimatum about seeing the widow, but you can put your foot down about therapy. I don't see any other way forward when he's said such a terrible thing to you and when he's clearly not processing his grief. If he still says no, then I would have to rethink my options. I lost my best friend last year. Talking about her comes easier with other people who knew her as well and as long as I did then. With my husband, my grief, bordering on depression, I think was worst from six months after her death to a little over a year after. Do talk to your husband. You're allowed to have needs and feelings always even when he is still down in the dumps. But be gentle. Around 10 months after was, to me at least, still quite terrible. And it still can be sometimes. But you're in his life too. And you deserve to have a conversation about this. You can't make him go to therapy, but you can get yourself a therapist so you have a safe and neutral space to process everything that's happening to you in your relationship. Would he consider a support group? My nan lost her husband, my grandfather, to his best friend's wife, who in turn was her best friend. In this exact scenario, the best friend died and my grandfather promised to look after his wife. They ended up having an affair and he moved halfway across the country with the wife. My grandmother never got over it. You have every right to be upset. He needs to seek professional help. There's a phenomenon. 
noted after 9-11 where the guy consoling the widow divorces his wife to marry the widow read about it here it's all about poorly processing grief so you must insist on therapy individual as well as couples but you and i both know that it feels like they're having an affair and in a sick way they are what they are doing is not okay john himself would not be okay with how close they've become because they have definitely crossed into emotional affair territory i'd tell him something like i understand you are grieving and would never ask you to cut contact with sarah as i know she's grieving too john was a truly wonderful person and an amazing husband and i can't imagine he would expect or want you to neglect your own wife in marriage while getting so close emotionally with his wife i need to feel that i'm important to you too and it was honestly painful to hear that i've never been as important to you as you've always been to me i need things to change i need to feel like i matter to you and to rebuild our emotional connection can we work together to set some reasonable boundaries with sarah and strengthen our relationship quote if he acknowledges your feelings and agrees to set boundaries and work on your relationship see how things go if Oto, he gets defensive or tries to make you into some sort of bad guy. He's already too far checked out emotionally to stay with especially since he won't do counseling. I'm trying not to be harsh. But I couldn't imagine staying married to someone who outright tells me I have never taken priority. In his life, the stuff with the widow is definitely crossing lines. However, it's the line about his BF always being the most important that makes me think this is doom. If you want to make this work, you're going to have to tell him how you feel about playing second fiddle to a dead man and his widow, given that he's not open to therapy and already said he'd leave you if you requested it. I don't think he'd respond well to your perspective. He has not processed his grief and healing from this trauma. His lack of movement is harming his current life. You can't put a time limit on grief but you can look for progress. It doesn't sound like he's made any progress at all. I don't know what to do if he isn't making progress on his own and he refuses to seek help getting started in that process. This is becoming a war of attrition between your patients defending against your feeling of being isolated from him. Therapy is extremely urgent for your husband to help process his grief but you need to know. Sarah will always be the extra wife for him now because he will take this promise he made to John as law and will continue to see her and be involved in her life forever. Ask yourself if you can handle that. Couples therapy is highly needed. Sarah also needs to attend therapy but with herself, not with with husband. She's going to become very dependent on your husband and he with her. It doesn't sit well with me that he stated he would have left you if you ever told him to choose. You're not a priority to him and you clearly never were. You have a problem he is moving his affection for friend to Sarah. Ten months is enough for her to put her house in order. He needs to focus again on his marriage. I would ask him if he still wants his marriage? Because he is straddling a fence. And if you don't take action, he will and you won't like it. Marriage is not a given and needs to be worked on one day at a time. He has abandoned yours. You need to have a serious talk and with his response you need to figure out what you need. The time for kindness is way past. Your husband is emotionally cheating with Sarah. They need distance from each other. If he won't go to therapy to grieve, would he go to marriage counseling to save your marriage? He's essentially that losing his friend will always be harder than losing you. So I'm thinking no, I agree with others on you pursuing individual therapy. If anything, it'll give you a live in-person soundboard. Best of luck, Ah. This sounds like, at the very least, an emotional affair. You have every right to feel what you feel. 
It was unkind and disrespectful of him to say what he said about you not being as important. It was weird timing for it to come out since he had never, unless I'm wrong, mentioned this prior to John's passing. It sounds, to me, like it could be heading toward him meaning he wouldn't choose you over Sarah because she is an extension of John. That's just my take on it though. His grieving isn't enough to okay him spending your anniversary with another woman. He needs to do some major work to make it up to you. More than anything, you need to pay close attention to how he is treating you and how he treats her. Listen to your gut. If something feels off, that's usually because it is. I'm not sure where anyone is getting that they are having an emotional affair lol it seems like. Reddit thinks having any kind of loving feelings for anyone outside your spouse is an emotional affair lol. I would talk to your spouse and let him know how you're feeling. Outside of doing that first I don't know what kind of advice you expect. He cannot read your mind and even if he could it doesn't seem like he is in a place right now where he would even focus on that. I would not give him an ultimatum but I'd let him know if he doesn't figure out a way to healthily process his grief that your marriage is heading for the toilet. After thoroughly talking about how you're feeling with him, I'd let him know you are willing to give him some space while he figures this out. In that time I suggest you focus on yourself. Do nice things for yourself. Start a hobby. Join a club or organization. Spend more time with friends. When the time limit starts coming up revisit this issue and go from there. I'd also expect some effort on remedying this situation in the time leading up to y'all revisiting the issue. I think you need to go to therapy for support. Your husband is growing more and more attached to the widow if his deceased best friend. The attached with grief is profound and it could end your marriage. You need support. You can't control your husband or the best friend's widow, but you can manage your own emotions. Why did he feel the need to say that for a situation that never even happened or could happen now? That the friend is dead? It's just grief, but it's no excuse for disrespect. The comment about ultimatums from him was uncalled for. A boundary needs to be set. Not prevent his grief but to place a firm understanding that the marriage will not come second. It's difficult to lose someone so close but it shouldn't be the thing that ends a marriage yeah. His behavior is unacceptable but grief tends to make us act out. Which is the only reason why I suggest attempting to set a boundary first. If he's already prepared to pick a friend over you then he has no grounds to be confused when his actions entirely push you away. Sarah is the last part of his friend he has. This could get messy, protect yourself. My husband died. Not once have I ever felt the need to reach out to his best friend for emotional support. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.